I'm Gina Sawyer and I'm a professor of dance here at Richland College and what I've done is I have taken this idea of creating a piece uh, in response to the theme for Arts Week Americana and I have connected that with Ted Jason Bishop's work This War. Ted wrote a collection of poetry um, before he died in the Vietnam War. Uh, this collection of poetry uh, I've had in a dresser drawer. I pulled it out one day, started reading some of the poetry, put it back. Then years later, when this particular theme was chosen for Arts Week, I knew I had a connection there. And I knew it would be meaningful, I knew it would be special to honor his work. And we're celebrating uh, our culture, who we are, and what it is that we do, and we're communicating something important we feel uh, to be shared with the community. And this particular arts fest, the collaboration uh, between a trio, that would be Jen Rose, Clive Siegel, and myself. You've got ceramics, visual art, you have historian, and you have dance, all coming together with one common thread for this particular theme, the blood of heroes never dies. So this war, the dance piece that I've created, fits in to this theme because it is about recognizing that we're all of the same human race. And that message is strongly communicated in Ted Jason Bishop's poem, This War. So finding that connection among the arts to communicate the humanness about us, who we are, how we feel, how we think, to honor those who have fought for us and sacrificed their lives, and to do that through art is very meaningful. When I first heard about this idea of the poppies and the blood of heroes never dies, that kind of thing, I envisioned red. And I envisioned that long flowing scarf that I've included in the choreography for the dance that represents the blood of all humanity. You've got over 5,000 poppies representing those former Texans who fought in World War I. Well, we know one poppy standing alone is the individual, but when that individual becomes a part of something much bigger, then you have a powerful statement there to make. And I think that's what we've made with this particular um, work. I kill you not because of a dislike for you. You are but one of a mass challenging my supremacy. I see you not as the individual you surely must be, but there is no time to think of this. But rather, I must think of you as an object without feeling, or thoughts, or loved ones. Would you not strike me down if I did not you first? You know not of me. What is it then that drives two strangers, beings of the same race, to take up arms against one another and fight for the other's defeat? It is because our people are at war that you die, fighting for a cause which you will never see fulfilled. Yet those who live on to enjoy the victory Will they, who do not know of you, call your name? No. You are no longer an individual to these people, but merely one of the thousands. Your loved ones will remember, though. To them, you won the cause. And then there were the other thousands. Return to dust now, soldier. For you have lost nothing. 